Alright guys, this video is going to be covering one of the first bosses in Terraria, which is the Eye of Cthulhu. For all those who are quite new to the game, this video should tell you about the boss, how to spawn it, how to kill it, why you should kill it, and generally just give you an overview of one of the first bosses in the game. Now the Eye of Cthulhu can be spawned in two ways, the first of which is it can naturally spawn in your world. It has a 1 in 3 chance of naturally spawning each night if one of these conditions are met. The first condition is if one player has at least 200 life. The second condition is if one player has at least 10 defense. And the third condition is if there's at least 3 NPCs are spawned in your world. If you meet one of these 3 requirements, then there's a 1 in 3 chance that the Eye of Cthulhu will spawn each night. Now moving on to the much more important one, which is how to manually spawn the Eye of Cthulhu. And to manually spawn it, you need an item called the Suspicious Looking Eye. It's not that hard to spawn it, and you can get these items from very early on. And all you need to craft it is six lenses. Lenses are acquired from a demon eyes, which is a very common monster that flies around during the night. You've probably seen them before, there's them floating eye things. All you need to do is kill many of them, and once you get six lenses, you can craft the suspicious looking eye. You need to go to a specialized crafting table, however, to craft it into a suspicious looking eye which is called a demon altar. Demon altars are commonly found in the corruption inside them huge chasms. I would recommend getting a grapple before you do this to make it easier to get down and back up from the chasm without dying. To, um, to craft a grappling hook you need three chains and a hook which are not too hard to get so I would recommend getting a grapple before you attempt the eye of Cthulhu. Now once you have the suspicious looking eye you are ready to attempt the Eye of Cthulhu. Although, please note, you can only kill it at night. If you try and spawn it through the day, you will fail. I do believe that you would die. And if you spawn it at the end of the night and it gets to day, then you will also die. So please do not spawn it through the day. Spawn it at the beginning of the night. Once you've done this, I also recommend building a wooden platform, sort of like in the video, to make it easier to maneuver up and down. The Eye of Cthulhu moves a lot, and that is the main reason you die. So you need to avoid his um, movements and a good way to tackle this is by making a platform arena and it's very useful, it's very effective and I recommend you guys do it for your first boss fight. Now something else to notice is that Eye of Cthulhu has two stages. The first stage is the generic stage where it just floats around and shoots them um, little eyes at you and the second stage is considered the most dangerous. It becomes much faster and it, it um, inflicts more damage so obviously it's more dangerous so you have to kill it faster but as a result the Eye of Cthulhu also becomes weaker so this is the time where you need to use your most powerful weapons save your potion cooldowns and stuff like that another tip is to buy shurikens from the merchant the shurikens are very effective against the Eye of Cthulhu and the weapons of choice I would use if you can get them is a gold bow and fire arrows and if you can't get them then just buy many shurikens, many hundred shurikens and just fire them at the Eye of Cthulhu. It's very cheap and very effective and that is what I would recommend for the boss fight. Now the drops from the Eye of Cthulhu, the most important thing that it drops is Demonite Ore. Demonite Ore is the next level of materials that's better than gold and only bosses drop them in large quantities. You get 30 to 87 Demonite Ore and you can smelt these into Demonite Bars. Demonite bars, you can craft things such as a weapon, a bow, and you can also save them. You need to kill another boss called the Eater of Worlds to get an item called Shadow Scales. And Shadow Scales and Demonite is used to create Demonite armor and Demonite pickaxe. The Demonite pickaxe is very important. You need it to get the higher levels of minerals, so that is recommended. So yeah, pretty much <laughs> in summary, the Demonite R is very important. You can use it to craft weapons, new pickaxes, and things like that. You also get some gold, some unholy arrows, and you also unlock the Dryad NPC for killing your first boss. So this was just a quick video summarizing the Eye of Cthulhu. Just to summarize, the Eye of Cthulhu is a good way to farm gold. It drops around five gold um, per kill if you sell some of the stuff. Uh, it's a good way to get Demonite, which is a very important resource to craft weapons. You can also use it in conjunction with shadow scales to create a demonite pickaxe, demonite armor, and things like that. And you also unlock the dryad for killing your first boss. So this video summarized the Eye of Cthulhu. Be sure to give it a like and a favorite and subscribe if you already haven't if this was useful. 
I might make some more videos like this style in the future, just summarizing bosses and summarizing sort of like milestones in the game to help you guys out. So thanks for watching guys, and I'll be making many more videos in the future, and thank you for watching.